Exiles, how are we doing? Mr. A2G and we are back playing some more Saga of Survival. How are we doing, guys? All right, so uh, from last week's video, we kind of sort of mixed it up a little bit with running um, through the dungeon, and I did it in a different way. So we're going to do this again. So I'm going to challenge you guys to see how fast you can run the Cursed Forest today, but using weapons, um, armor, everything that you normally use, don't use them. Okay, so if you're a crossbow user or if you use the wand or anything in sort of range attack, you can't use it. You've got to use close hand combat, which I'm using at the moment. So I'm using the swords. And I usually use, you know, basic armor and things like that. So I've reversed that and I've popped on some decent armor today, which I wouldn't commonly use. And that's just me not wanting to use resource and reserve uh, that type of resource there. So it's on pretty much just a bit over half dur durability. So hopefully. Um, this will get us through with the weapons that we have. So let's get into it. All right, let's do it. Okay, so let's kill these guys here. And I think I'm actually on a quest with uh, Dungeon Spider. So this is actually a good win for me. And hopefully I can get through this quite quickly. Don't need any of what they're dropping. So I don't think that, well, probably won't worry about it, to be perfectly honest with you. But, um, let's see who's where, and there's a few of you guys here, so I'm just going to, you know, just let the guy do what he needs to do, and there's like 50,000 enemies here, I mean, obviously exaggeration there, but we should be fine, I mean, the sword is doing an amazing job at the moment, and these guys are just coming all calls and area of the place, so... Good thing that you know allows me not having to worry about to um, you know find everyone. So I'm on 200 curse points as well at the same time. So this is going to be really really fun, and we'll see who comes out to play. So I might get a bone breaker or two early on in game. So we'll see how that all works out. Okay, so I've I've actually that's actually something I really wanted to bring up. Um, I do want to make up a challenge where you know we can run into a zone and um see if we can survive so obviously longest amount of time survival but also um stipulation with that is you got to walk in with 200 curse points no less um obviously that's the max you can do so you can't do any more than that and uh see how well you can su uh, survive so you know i think i might do something like that let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below if you guys are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button, of course, and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future video uploads. And uh, like the video, guys, if you enjoyed uh, the content that you've seen today. That'll be really, really helpful. But with that out of the way, if it doesn't miss, that's good. And yeah, we'll just keep rolling on with what we've got here. Yeah, so I'm not going to bother uh, reducing the curse points. Might be a bit crazy, but who cares? <laughs> we'll see how well we can go through with this. And let's take you out. And I'm just sort of going to quickly scan the area. Head up this way. And take you out. Awesome. There we go. Here comes the uh, Dark Undead. Always a pleasure, boys. And give me some keys or something worth picking up, I guess. Okay, take you out. Let's heal up real quick. Just hoping to get some food. Because I did not think this through, and I'm sort of doing this on the fly as we speak, so uh, we'll see how we go with it, I guess. Okay, take those, grab that, grab that. So, still in the XP challenge, so this is the second video that I'm uh, recording after the other. Oh, nice. Take those. And what do we have over here? Okay. Do, do, do. What do we get from here? Anything interesting? Not so much, but that's okay. Take the, take the lot. And okay, so one of the big boy chests here. Looks very nestled into the uh, into the brick. I uh, saw the brickwork, the stonework there. Probably a bit of a glitch, but that's fine. It's not going to really harm us or anything like that. Just as long as you give me decent loot, I guess. All right, what do we get? Couple of keys. 
always good. Very rare that I get keys from uh, out of a chest of any type. You know, sometimes you might get it from time to time, but otherwise, always get it from uh, fallen enemies. Okay, so here come a couple of these guys. They're sort of hugging the edges there, follow me along because of that 200 curse points. So that's all good because this boy here is not worried whatsoever. Uh, anything interesting. If you guys really wanted to get all these other things as well, um, like the, the Dead Essence and the Tobacco Envelope, I think it's called. Yeah. Uh, yeah, obviously a good time to sort of run in and grab some of that stuff. And if anything, if I'm sort of hugging the lines here, it has to be bone breakers running about, losing their minds. They'll be majorly pissed that they can't get to me. Oh, there is one. Speak of the devil. So let's just take you out right and quick. Usually in that sort of inner sort of circle of the map, I think that's where one of them does reside. So he'll be pissed that he can't get to me just yet. So look at that. Three keys in the cursed forest. Not bad. Usually that's not always the case, but, you know, stranger things have happened. And that is a bit of a conga line happening. All right, boys. And, and that'll do you guys. All right. And here's the other chest. And look at that. We're still on the first uh, sword as well. Amazing. And once I get this, we'll check on the armor durability and see where things are at with that as well. See how well that's sort of holding up. If I had full a full uh, durable uh, set of clothes, I think I would have been fine. Wouldn't ha have to have any sort of issues with that, but you know, it doesn't matter. Just sort of grab what you've got, kind of thing. And okay, ooh, one right out of the corner. I've noticed that in the latest update, actually. That, you know, some of these chests are just somewhere random right out of the, um, you know, out of the main part of the zone. So I don't know what that's all about. But anyway, it's just them trying their things, I guess. And we'll grab what's here. We'll head into that inner circle and I think we'll probably be close to done. And to be honest, I think I'm um, just sort of looking at my timer here. I think it's about 6 minutes, 30, a bit over 30 seconds into it. So uh, not bad at all. So yeah, definitely want to know how well you guys can clear this type of zone with, you know, different type of weapons if you use them. Um, yeah. All right. So I think we're good here. I think we're okay there. Okay. So that's just the midsection part. All right. So let's go around into this little corridor and let's stir the neighborhood up. Here we go. Is our first customer. There he is. Yeah, he was majorly pissed. He was not hanging about. As soon as I rolled around, that's it. And boom. And boom. Sorry, I was supposed to look at my armor. <laughs> look at that. That is nearly finished. All right. <laughs> Nothing there. Let's just grab what we've got here. Take the, the binding, and anyone else want to come out to play? Poof! <laughs> yeah, you guys do. <coughs> All right, so this is going to be interesting because I'm nearly out of durability, and there's like three or four of them. Let's just sneak away, and we'll, we're going to have to do this one by one, or not? Or not? Okay. There we go. <laughs> that was a nice little surprise at the end, wasn't it? It was sort of like congregating and sort of waiting for me. A little bit on the organized side. Okay, who knew? So, I've still got a little bit left in the sword. So anyone else wants to come out and play, come out and play. I think that's it. You know what, let's just hit the auto button. Yeah, okay. So that's it guys, so we pretty much cleared the, the zone. So if we stop the clock there, that's basically uh, just a bit under uh, nine minutes really. So sort of smashed it. Take all that 
And okay, take all that. So that's with also 200 curse points. So that's not, you know, reducing your curse either. Just leaving it. Why not? So, yeah. So I walked out, out of here pretty intact. You know, not really too much of any sort of issues or harm or anything like that. So let's get the rest of these chests. See what we get out of all these and we'll probably end it. Um, okay, take that, take that. And I keep forgetting that I've got my horsey with me and he can store some of my unwanted items just for now. And yeah, and then take what take a little bit more from it from the place here. And also I could have obviously popped on some uh, clothing if I needed to on my exile here, but you know, doesn't matter. We we pretty much got everything here anyways. Alright, so I'll take that, take that, we'll take him and I'll probably take him with me anyway to boot. And all right, awesome. So we've actually ranked up, which is great. So we'll um, let those go into the vault. We'll check out exactly where we're at with the, uh, there we are. Arnicus, uh, no. Arcanus, I can't even pronounce it at the best of times. Anyway, so we're up to the Grand Mage. All right, so there's 550 point progress. Okay, so we've got Another rogue item, Ash Wand, that'll be pretty good once we get to that. And progressing well here and obviously here, so we've got that coming up to look forward to, and then those two to look forward to, which I'll be wrapped about. And what do we got over here? So starting to get a little bit more of the law notes as well. I want to know what you guys uh, where you guys are at as well with the with the whole law note system. How much have you guys got in each for each faction I should say? So I'm sort of getting into the mid to high 20s. Oh, sorry, mid to high teens. What am I saying? Mid to high teens with all that. But otherwise, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, did I loot you? I did. All right. So, <coughs> excuse me. We will assess the damage here. So pretty much done, done, nearly done done and they had one more hit in it before that died but <laughs> actually not too bad for a run even with the misses in between as well so we did quite well with that anyway race back home and that's it guys anyway thanks for watching as always if you like the video make sure you hit that like button there and if you guys are new make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell all at the same time if you can if we've got the skills for that and that'll go a long way otherwise guys take it easy catch you next time